Hello, and welcome to this play along tutorial for Llama, the game where you get rid of all the cards in your hand so you won't be left with a dilemma. This play along tutorial is meant for your first play of the game while learning, from setup to scoring. So I invite you to play your first faux game, starting now. Let's open the box and get out all the pieces we need to play. There should be 56 cards, 8 each with values 1 through 6, and 8 llamas, plus 70 markers, 20 black, and 50 white. There will be times in this tutorial where I suggest you pause the video while you do something in your own game. This is one of those moments, so why don't we pause while you confirm that you have all the pieces pictured here. Let's move on to the setup. Shuffle all the cards together and deal six cards to each player. Place the remaining cards in an easy to reach spot for everyone. This pile should be face down as it is the draw pile. Take the top card of the draw pile and place it next to the deck. This is now your discard pile. Place all markers on the table. It doesn't matter where, just make sure you don't cover up the draw and discard piles. You can pause the video at this point to finish the setup. This game is played in rounds. Each round will start with a player. The first player, if you play by the rules, is the youngest. But you can begin with whoever you want. On your turn, you'll do one of three actions. Play a card, draw a card, or quit the round. What you as the player are trying to do is either get rid of all of your cards, or back out of the round in such a way that will leave you with a small amount of negative points. Let's discover what these actions actually do. First, playing a card. The top card of this card pile will have a number on it. Looking at your hand, you place a card on top of that one if it has the same number or is one higher. The llamas are special. You can only place them on top of sixes, and only ones may be placed on llamas. Or other llamas. Looking at this hand, I could play the 4 or hold on to it in case it comes back, or play the 5 in my hand. After you've done your turn, the next player will go. Second, drawing. This action I would suggest taking only when you cannot place a card. This action is just taking a card off the top of the draw pile. The new cards get added to your hand, and the turn goes to the next player. Lastly, quitting the round. This is when you decide to stop playing cards. Leaving the round means you have to wait for the round to end before you can play again. The round ends when everyone has quit the round, or everyone has emptied their hands. In between rounds, you score points and take markers. Let's look at my hand. I have two llamas, a one, a two, and three fives. Each number card counts as their value and negative points, and you only score each number once. So as far as the number of cards go, I have minus 8 points, which is minus 1, minus 2, and minus 5. When checking your points, only one of each number card counts, so having multiple 5s isn't so bad. It's the same thing as having only a single 5. Llamas are special cards, as they count as minus 10 points. So our total negative points for this round is 18, since even the llamas are counted only once. Then you take the markers to keep track. White markers are worth minus 1 point, the blacks are worth a negative 10. So we take one black marker and eight of the white markers. Now, one thing to remember is if you empty your hand of all cards, you can return one marker to the pile. It doesn't matter what color. So we'll throw this black marker back in. The game ends when a player reaches negative 40 points. Then the player with the highest number of points, or the closest to zero, wins. If there is a tie between two players, both of them share in the victory. One final rule that may come up. What happens when the only player left in the round? Well, you can keep up playing cards until you can't play anything else. However, you can't draw anything new. So if you get stuck, the round ends. Now you know how to play Llama, who wins, and how the game ends. Feel free to finish the game that you've already started. But remember, the first game doesn't count. So be sure to play again. 